A lot of guys think that chemistry is this mystical, magical thing, but there's actually a really reliable way to spark it with any woman. And I'm gonna reveal the secret to that in this video. Hi, my name is Bobby Rio, and for 13 years now, I've been coaching men on how to create attraction and how to keep a woman's interest alive because keeping her attraction there is just as hard as sparking it, even harder in most cases. But one of the things that men are continually confused about is this idea of why we have chemistry with certain women and not others. Or more importantly, why a girl who we thought things went really well with later tells us that she didn't feel a spark. So let me explain the secret of chemistry. The secret of chemistry is when masculinity and femininity come together. When that happens, sparks fly. What do I mean by this? So there's a masculine role and then there's a feminine role. And where men lose attraction is when the man doesn't take that masculine role with the woman he's with. What do I mean by that? Well, here's some examples of not taking the masculine role when you're with a girl. Um, he leaves the decision-making up to her. He lets her lead the vibe. What I mean by lead the vibe is he waits for her to start flirting or her to get intimate, almost like he's waiting for her to give him permission to take it to the next level. If she's the one suggesting where to go on the date or what to do or worse, she's the one who has to hold up a big sign that says, it's okay to kiss me. When a girl is leading you, when you sense that she's controlling the vibe of the interaction, that almost always ends with you in the friend zone. Guys will also take on the feminine role and try to connect with a girl um, with that, right? He'll try to listen to her problems or show her how much of a good guy you are, how much you have in common. And that's fine if you just wanna be friends. I often tell the story of a time I met this really adorable girl. She looked like a young, super cute Marissa Tomei, just, just really adorable. And she was into health food and she was a vegetarian and all that. And I was very into that at the time too. So um, I'm with her, right? And for like 45 minutes, we're in complete rapport, talking about all of that, just sharing our stories and recipes. And then she leaves to go to the bathroom and 10 minutes go by, 20 minutes go by. And I'm standing there waiting for her because I assume she's gonna come back. And after an hour, I'm like, where'd she go? So I go upstairs and I open a door and she's making out with some other guy. Now this guy, I knew the guy, and he's like the complete opposite of a vegetarian health food guy. But see, I was trying to create chemistry by bonding over femininity. And that's not how it happens. For a woman to feel a strong level of this word right here, chemistry, towards you, you've gotta take that masculine role early in your encounter with her. So in my case with that girl, a couple minutes after talking to her about health food, I needed to take control, to change the subject, to start flirting and lead the vibe into a more intimate direction. Now here's the thing, when you do this, you've gotta be firm with it. Because women will test you, they will do or say things to get a reaction out of you, to make you lose your cool. She might make a joke that's a little, little bit of a jab at you, right? Um, do you get butt hurt when she does that? If she makes a comment about another guy, do you seem jealous and upset? If she says something like, I'm not gonna sleep with you tonight, do you start explaining, oh no, I didn't want to, or do you start apologizing, I'm sorry if I was giving you that, that vibe? If you do any of that, you failed the test. Being masculine is really about two things. It's about leading her instead of being led. Take the risk, don't make her take it. Even if she does, she'll resent you for it later. I've been with girls where I was too chicken to go for the kiss and they wound up going for it. And we actually kissed, but in every case, they lost attraction quickly after that. The second part of being masculine is having boundaries. If a woman feels like she can walk all over you and you'll still be into her, it's over. One thing my friend Rob Judge and I, we always say to clients is, Never reward bad behavior. What we mean by this is, if a woman's being flaky, rude, if she's canceling on you, or just treating your time like it doesn't matter, and you reward her with more attention or gifts or compliments, 
you'll lose all value in her eyes. And again, she's going to test you. So be prepared. How much can I get away with with him? How into me is this guy? If I'm texting on my phone while we're together, will he politely tell me to put my phone away or will he put up with it like my little puppy dog? Here's the deal. A girl will have a really hard time staying attracted to you if she sees you as being weak or the type of guy that she can easily control or manipulate. Now, on the other hand, if you have that strong masculine presence, and this doesn't mean you have to be some alpha male, jacked up, loud, bad boy, right? In fact, there's plenty of introverted, uh, you know, computer programming guys like who just get this right because it just means you're comfortable in that do dominant frame, that dominant role. And when a woman meets you, she can immediately tell that you place a lot of value on yourself, that she can't emotionally control you and you're not afraid to lead her. When a woman meets a guy like this and even if he's not her normal type, she'll still feel attraction toward him. She can't help it. See, the secret to chemistry is that the more of the masculine role that you take on, the more it brings out her feminine side. And when a girl is acting out her feminine side, it just feels right for her. And she chalks it up to, we just have chemistry. That is the secret to chemistry. Now, nice guys are notorious for being scared to take that strong masculine role, or they just don't know how to do it. And this is why women never feel that spark with the average nice guy. So one question that I always ask a guy when I start working with them is, how far on the nice guy spectrum are you? Because one of the big reasons nice guys don't do well with girls is because they usually take that feminine role. Um, how much of a nice guy are you? And if you're not sure, well, I have a short 10 question quiz below where you'll answer a series of short questions and then you'll get a customized description of where you fall on that nice guy spectrum. Are you taking the lead? Are you letting her lead you? And more importantly, it tells you the areas that you need to improve. There's a link below to take the quiz. It's completely free. You don't even have to enter your email and you immediately after you take this short quiz, you'll get that customized uh, report video telling you what to do. Now, as always, if you like this uh, video, uh, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss future videos.